Hi, my name's John Cordy. Um, hopefully you've been getting something out of uh, the 3.0 videos I've been putting out. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make it fairly simple um, to see what I'm doing and how I'm actually editing stuff or how you actually do these things on the actual unit because I don't tend to use HX Edit that much. So bear with me, um, but hopefully this will be slightly useful. Um, I've already done a video on the poly sustain um, I've already done a video on the shuffling looper and the glitch delay. Those are some of my favourite new features. I don't think you need me to do any explaining of the fuzz pedals. I don't think you need to do any explaining of what a Princeton Reverb model is going to sound like or a diesel. Um, but there are a few other little bits and pieces that I want to show you just before I go back into my normal cocoon of um, just making guitar based playing videos. Say I've just got this preset called JC Badonk and you had a delay in there um, but it wasn't doing exactly what you liked. In the old world what you'd probably have to do is go and clone some of your own settings from another preset that you did like your delay settings on. In New Helix world what we can do is just go to favourites and select our favourite delay settings which for me I think is going to save a lot of time. I'll just show you exactly how you might do this. So I'm going to go back to my main lead preset that I use, the Eric lead. So if you then, so highlight your block. So I'm gonna save the delay block. You press action and then scroll across on the page. Scroll again, there's this new page where you've got add to favorites, factory default and use the default. So what I'm doing here is pressing add to favorites and then you've got a list um, of your new kind of favorite pedals. This is one that's already in here for me. You can just press add new favorite. Um, you can rename it whatever you like. So, you know, you might rename it lead delay or um, whatever. But you can do that with all of your amps and all that stuff. And I think it saves um, stomp allocations. So that's kind of a neat feature. The other thing that I hear some people saying about is um, that they find the default settings uh, of amps or whatever, they find them a bit uh, strange, some strange choices have been made. So I guess most of that comes down to personal preference. Personally, I quite like the default settings, but you saw in there, if you press action again, and go across and across again, factory default, and that's not really what I wanted to do. <laughs> but anyway, that's done now, isn't it? That is done. Right, so let me just go back here. Ah, so what you could do, you can have your own user default settings. So I've just saved them to the factory defaults or you can change it back to the factory default, if that makes sense. So you've got two options. You've got the user default settings or the factory default settings. Um, so you set up your user default settings to be whatever it is that you generally use them for. So this is aside from your favorites. Um, so you might have, you know, like a, a tube screamer, you always run with the drive on 10 and you always run with the level at 7. So you want it to, anytime you call up a tube screamer, be those settings. That's what you could use these user default settings for, I believe. So I guess what this really means is that you can now kind of create your blocks and uh, your signal chains a little bit quicker. What it doesn't do is carry over snapshot settings. So for me, I use kind of different amp settings for every snapshot. So um, this doesn't make things a lot quicker for me in some ways. So what I'd have to do is probably clone um, an old preset or a preset that I wanted to, to do something new with. Um, so for me, that still might end up being a quicker way than using these favorites, but it is nice to be able to just chuck in kind of my favorite delay and favorite reverb settings to kind of any new preset and um, that works quite nicely. I have had other people ask me about the new command center. So if you press down the two page buttons together, you get to the, the menu. And then at the bottom on the right hand side is this command center. And essentially what you can do, you can set up I think six MIDI commands for um, each preset change and then you can set up foot switch commands as well so one for each foot switch and then you can also have an external foot switch um, 
I'm not a MIDI user particularly, so I'm not the guy to be showing you through this stuff. I'm imagining someone like Steve Stalacci might be the guy to watch for something like that. I think super useful anyway. So I think I've covered pretty much all of the things that I wanted to cover that I think are the most useful on the new stuff. There's also seamless patch switching and spillover on the on the full helix, but that's not something that I'm going to be using anyway because I use snapshot mode. There's, you know, obviously lots of new fuzzes and there's the horizon drive and that's got like a, it's like a hot rodded tube screamer but also with a, a gate built in. Really good for the metal guys I guess. There's also um, a Swedish chainsaw which I think is based on like a boss metal pedal. Um, so there's lots more stuff but I've already shown you the stuff that I'm most kind of enjoying. So this was just to kind of wrap that up. Thank you for watching. And from now on, we're going to be focusing on playing again, probably, until someone leaves a comment saying there's something that they need me to explain. If there is anything that you want me to explain, I can try and do so. Um, but yeah, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. You can get my presets in the um, description if you wanted to. I've just made a new one. I just put together this new preset for people that don't have an expression pedal and want to do infinite sustaining stuff, but also want a few blocks so check that out if you want to um, it's in the description um, but yeah hopefully this has been kind of enjoyable um, and yeah we'll get back to normal playing thank you for checking out the videos thank you for liking and subscribing and I'll catch you in another video soon cheers